Dog owners have been warning of the dangers of retractable leashes for years now. The lawsuits have complaints of them snapping, striking owners in the face sometimes mm -hmm. so hard it has blinded them. Others have lost fingers. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer tonight with the story of a woman who blames them for getting her dog killed. So it happened right in actually in this area. Where small foster terrier Zeke was ready to go for a walk when another larger boxer mix approached. And broke a retractable leash and got away from the owner. That dog got Zeke in its mouth and killed the smaller terrier. It's devastating. It's um, totally broken hearted. Zeke's owner is too traumatized to talk about it. Amy Webb is the director of the foster program that Zeke came from. The owner has some responsibility to keep their dog under control. The retractable leash made it a little bit less possible to do so. Webb and Paws on the Ground Foster Rescue says even before this, they didn't allow their foster owners to use retractable leashes, citing injuries, lawsuits, recalls, and what she calls an overall lack of control of dogs that are on them. How are you going to get them? They're way out there or they're there and you're trying to get it on this piece of wire with a little bit of, of nylon you know, on the end of it. These kinds of leashes are one of the more popular pet products out there and owners who have them and use them really point to the flexibility it gives both owner and dog when going out for a walk without pulling the owner all over the place. He's really well behaved and uh, I don't have any issues with Charlie kind of leaving my side anyways, but this gives him an extra five, five or eight feet. We saw some dogs out on retractables and many others on standard leashes, something Webb thinks could have made for a different outcome last weekend in Highlands Ranch. But there's a good chance that they would have been able to maintain control of that dog. The larger dog is now in the control of the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region. Its future will be decided by the courts. In Highlands Ranch, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.